Hello and welcome to another dancing dialogue with my dear friend, brother, Olafur. Uh, it's just an honor and, and a blessing to be with you in this space today. And as we were just exploring what's happening for us today, we felt our theme for today is beyond healing. And we are both ready to take healing beyond. And so all of four share with us what, what, what comes to you when we open that Pandora's back box, because it's not just a method or a theory. It's a Pandora's box beyond healing and the significance obviously that it has today. Yeah, the, the, you know, the healing, the process of healing has become something oftentimes that uh, we ourselves have become attached to and in and often even even like lost within that uh, sort of framework of mind that it is to be constantly trying to heal something or fix something or whatever it is uh, the problem is that oftentimes that like the, the that we get fit we get fixed within a narrative or story that that we are telling ourselves that something is wrong on some fundamental level with someone or something and it needs to be corrected. Mm -hmm. Even though there might be truth to it, um, the thing about it is like, well, when we experience, some, shall we say, transformative processes, mm -hmm. which, we, which we do when we are on this journey or this kind of, where we are uh, on the spiritual path, if you will, or, or when we experience when we truly come in touch with the the uh, the the forces of change the forces of transformation and experience the presence of love or whatever it is grace mm -hmm. uh, and we experience the life on a, on a higher level even than we used to before and of course there's a deep sort of attraction to it uh, and of course, we have like then a drive that we want to uh, create more of that or help others to experience that or, or and things like that. Yeah, but yeah. that can also be a trap. Can it? That's what I just wanted to say. This could also be a trap. Just wanted to say that we're synchronized. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, in my journey of healing self, which was mainly an internal journey. But of course, I also worked with other people and I trained in many healing modalities. I came to a point very fast, I didn't want to be a healer because I didn't want to fix. And the other thing, I didn't want to trap people in an ongoing journey of the seeker of having to fix more and more and more and more and more. And that brings us more into what you're speaking about and, and, and what it can become an addiction and a trap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I feel at this time where energy is available on a higher level. We're halfway through a, a universal process from 2012 that has really opened up so much more. I think this is a time to look at it from a new perspective. And to see healing more as a process to wholeness, a process to remember who we truly are. And for that, I don't need to run from one healer to the other. I don't need to fix a million problems of one person as a healer that I don't want to be, but I don't mind facilitating healing like yourself. And so I feel we're in such an amazing time to redefine, re-explore that space that goes beyond mm -hmm. healing. And that has part partially to do with these new archetypes that are coming in now of ascension. It's not about fixing. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, exactly. And and it's more like what or isn't it like more than about uh, embodying more about uh, kind of stepping fully into the process of change in a way that it's not a it's not a means to an end it's not something like oh now i have completed something it, it becomes uh an embodied lived uh anchored kind of aliveness that we ourselves live on a daily basis and it was like and even though we experienced yesterday a great moment of grace and clarity in relevance to whatever happened the day before yesterday that might have not have been so great or whatever that it doesn't mean that we need to force it to happen today all we need to do is to trust the process that we are already in that is already a part of the wholeness that we are a part of yes it means okay. with means that we are on the deepest fundamental level even though we might not necessarily see it through our minds uh, kind of lens that we are already whole yes we just need to remember and maybe that old kind of archetype of the healer of these sessions and therapies and all of that maybe that is actually also falling apart in this new space in this new consciousness and as you said it's more like embodying it and allowing it to flow no day is the same but it doesn't mean that i don't embody it and in that whole context and you know i'm creating new words all the time this is one thing that you do when you love language like both of us and 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 one word that fits into that embodiment is the heart sink right wholeness comes together when we sink into the heart because the heart in a way is connecting us to all of the aspects of the wholeness right right and maybe for that we don't need sessions right maybe for that we don't need a therapy We've shared today, or you shared with me, that you do these beautiful community events where people just come together to have their own experience floating in this beautiful hot water of Iceland. Yeah. Sound and of obviously the beautiful energies that you are facilitating, but of course also nature. Yes, exactly. The natural so the, waters and that heat that you have in Iceland. Yeah that on its own is is a facilitator of healing for people exactly and it and it's really that that kind of my experience with that is like um i don't i don't see myself as a healer in that environment but i am a part of the condition that uh, enables people to experience wholeness through that environment, through the water, you know. So I become a facilitate, facilitator for that experience just by holding the space and becoming a part of it. But the healing or whatever that happens is completely uh, dependent on how the, the individual connects to the process mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and that is uh, and that, that is just so fascinating to me you know you can create the space you can hold the frequency but the healing if it if there is any healing that only depends on the willingness of the people within that condition to resonate on that level or surrender on that level yes this is so beautiful how you say it and this is how i feel because i also don't call myself a healer it's facilitating that process making that space and it's also what you say about willingness it, it's for me it's also the readiness 
right. how ready are are they to <laughs> receive what they can in that space and time of the healing environment that is created and mm. everybody is unique in that and everybody chooses how they embody heart sync that experience right and Absolutely. the other thing that comes to be now to me now is that new space of community then experiencing that in a community small of course but it could be bigger and mm -hmm. also the opportunity to share maybe some of the experience without right and wrong or good or bad absolutely each unique experience has its own beauty and magnificence takes out competition, Absolutely. takes out comparison, takes all of that, yeah. celebrates the uniqueness and the wholeness. Yeah, and the beauty, the beauty and the freedom of, of being in the non-judgmental mind. You know, and it's like uh, the, the, the non-judgmental mind is accessible to all of us when we connect back to the wholeness that is within. Because in a, a state of wholeness, where we are actually connected with our essential authentic self, perhaps, uh, there is just no judgment there. So by being non-judgmental and holding this space of non-judgmentalism and allowing everything that emerges within that space is to be reflective of the wholeness and the freedom thereof because this is what freedom is the freedom is that everything can be expressed without being negatively judged yes and this is just you're opening this amazing space that also brings because judgment is part of the drama triangle so yes. judgment no longer exists i don't need to fix and rescue if judgment no longer exists, I'm no longer a victim. So I don't wow. take any more of these roles. Wow, yeah, exactly. Wow. And in that wholeness that I now experience, I'm in my presence. Yes, 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 exactly. There you, I think you've really, I think, I think you nailed it, you know, that, that the, the subtle, the subtle judgment <laughs> that sometimes comes with the self image of being a healer and needing to heal something and fix something. Something is wrong with whoever, that kind of thing. And that is fundamentally not holding the space of wholeness. No. So, how beautiful when. <laughs> And, and this is beyond healing now. And this is, this is what, perfectly beyond healing. Yeah. What the new archetypes are experiencing because we're stepping out of duality very clearly. Mm -hmm. We're stepping out of this yes. drama, the roles that we've been playing. And now the interesting thing maybe comes as the healer stops fixing and analyzing and identifying a problem. And the experiencer doesn't feel like a victim anymore because he needs to be fixed and judged. Right. We don't have this endless addiction and trap of having yes. to be fixed. So we're stepping out of the roller coaster that is not only the individual, but that is also reflected in the connection with nature. Yes. So when that healing to wholeness occurs, it shifts our relationships and our roles. Yeah, exactly. Then exactly. I don't need to fix nature because nature is actually fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't need to judge nature if it's raining or if the trees are dry or whatever. 
I just can be in that wholeness with everything there is. Yes, exactly. And that is most probably, that is probably what true healing actually means mm -hmm. on, the, on, on the deepest level. This is probably like, this is probably, I imagine what kind of Christ consciousness is, what what Buddha consciousness is, you know, what what all these kind of the the depth of these kind of teachings are trying to, we're trying to guide us towards, and we are kind of now starting to grasp a little bit better based on our own experiences in the physical world and the and going through all these polarities and then and then transcending them to a degree of understanding what is the real fundamental element here. And the fundamental element is like, you could say, we can talk about the spirit, the Holy Spirit, you know, and like, and, and remember like, uh, it makes me think about the story of Jesus. Oftentimes he was doing all these healings, yes. but he always said that I'm not doing the healing. The Holy Spirit is doing the healing through me yes i'm just holding the space i'm just like here observing what's going on you know yes and what is the holy spirit the wholeness the wholeness the holy spirit is That's the it. Wholeness. and if i That's allow it. myself to be an instrument and the other person or the people around me are ready healing occurs not because i do it Nobody right. did it, actually. Right. It literally is a natural flow. Exactly. When this wholeness occurs. How beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. And it's, it's just like so much. It's so much more about. It's not about force in any way. It's much more about allowance than force acceptance rather than insistence mm -hmm. appreciation rather than judgment mm -hmm. all these things you know that like that re reflect the attributes of the wholeness and when we do that in our relational approach to others and ourselves well this is what emerges you know so perhaps the only thing that we need to do is to work on the conditions for it to enable it to happen to not to avoid being judgmental even though yes. we can be judgmental just like because it might be a tendency even to be judgmental because we're human and we are also compartmentalized in some way because the physical mind is focused in that way but as long as we manage to keep our come back to that space self-connection then we all become just a natural, relatively effortless vehicle for it, right? So simple. You said it's so simple. But I feel on a level it actually is. It, it is, is an yeah. allowing, yeah. as you said. Yes. And celebrate each unique experience somebody has in this space. Absolutely, absolutely. And there's another thing to it as well, like, you know, I, I don't want to, you know, spoil the, the party, the mystical party, you know, it's like that it's like that is something super mystical and, and that kind of thing. It, it, and life in life is an amazing mystery and a miracle. And, and just the, the fact that we are here in this moment. And if somebody's listening, listening that they are here in this moment, listening to this, that flow of consciousness taking place, it, it is an absolute mystery and miracle in and of itself. However, in the frame of mind, the way we mystify this, this natural state of being, this natural state of connection, that is, I think, absolutely unnecessary. Because we can, everybody can experience it on a daily basis. We don't need to put anybody on a pedestal 
like they can do it and they are the special ones no is everybody can do this everybody can connect to the wholeness within themselves and be an embodiment of it yes uh, without any kind of uh you know complicated mystery no you know about it and mystery as you said so beautifully is accessible anyway and it's here anyway yes but when we start to label it and compartmentalize it in our mind we lose the magic yes exactly and and it's like and it becomes something like that only the people in our, only the people in the orange robes or only people that have been meditating for this long or whatever it is uh, no, no 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 that is not what it is and anybody at any time can experience this and everybody has their own unique expression and experience yes of that. absolutely it's not like the mysterious the wonder the wholeness is fully described in a box it's not Right. As it's activated, it actually goes into that space of the infinite and the unbound. Right. The more of us connecting in that wholeness, it's like the more aspects are available and each one has their own little piece. Yes. And the, yeah, I mean, the exploration is endless, you know, it's like if we are part of that's another, you know, way to approach it. It's like wholeness is not, this cannot be something limited. No, it must be something if it exists in the first place, then it is something unlimited. And the exploration of it is endless. Yes. And seamless by nature. You know, it's exactly. just like. It's just like the, the consciousness in relation to itself in all the diverse way that it possibly can. And in every time, every day is, is something unfolding and expressing. No, it's just like, and all of it is a process and all of it is fueled by a liveness that moves from within. It's yes. not, we don't, we don't, it doesn't come from outside. It moves from within. It moves, moves from within nature, moves from within people, moves, moves from within the galaxies, and, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Endless move, moving from within. That is what the wholeness does, and it's just expressing itself through all this diverse, in all this diverse manner. You know, it's just like, but we disconnect from, it. we yes. forget, we get, you know, we we get locked into you know, the drama. <laughs> Exactly. Polarity. And now we are the healer. I want to fix it. Yes. But we forgot that simple truth. When we the are beyond. <laughs> the, the when beyond we... and right here. This is what it is. Yes. So I yeah. actually want to finish this for today because I feel this is a good portion for sharing today. And yeah, not beautiful. only sharing in the sense of putting it on YouTube, but sharing in the sense of what we have activated for now, I really want it to ripple out. Yes, I agree. And, and it's just like a beautiful kind of, this is a beautiful dialogue and a, and a beautiful reminder also, and how it kind of, how it was kind of naturally invoked. <laughs> it's amazing. So. <laughs> yeah, how you say it, it was just naturally invoked. And this is something that it's just amazing how you and I can have a connection like that. Talk for five minutes and a theme comes up. That yeah. That makes both of our hearts sing. Yes. Incredible. It's amazing. It's amazing. Yes. So, yes, we want to leave this out there, what, what has been created today, through us. Exactly, through us. Through us and our ability to be just instruments facilitators vehicles of wholeness yes making space for beyond healing and the expression and the relations that yet can be unfolding ever unfolding ever unfolding and constant becoming 
yes joyfully and effortlessly if we allow it to you know and uniquely yeah. as we are just being ourselves and allowing us to connect with whoever we are in the moment oh yes in the moment so let's just put an invitation out for that energy and the people who get that energy and that message that oh, it's there coming. it's there it's, it's here there. right there you're available you want it you can have it exactly go for it beautiful beautiful <laughs> thank you so much it, it gets better each time and it's not even about comparison or whatever but thank you again for being here today the magic thank you, my friend. is on thank you so Beautiful. much thank you great